In today's video, I'll show you how to track one of the most important things visitors can do on your small business website, calling you. Setting up phone conversion tracking in GA4 will show you how many phone leads you're getting directly from your site. Since a lot of visitors will be on their mobile devices, they'll often tap your phone number to call you, and you'll want to keep track of when that happens. First, to track phone calls made from your website, your phone number needs to be in the form of a link. If you're unsure whether it is, here is how you can check. Hover over the number and clicking it opens a pop-up suggesting you use an app. This means the phone number is clickable and can be tracked. To double check that this is truly the case, highlight the phone number, right click and select inspect. If the number starts with tell colon, it means it's a link and can be tracked in Google Analytics. Now let's look at another example. In this case, the phone number isn't clickable. When I inspect the code, I can see the tell colon prefix is missing. If this is the case for your site, make sure to add the tell colon prefix to all phone numbers on every page so they can be tracked properly. Next, go to the admin section of your Google Analytics account. From the submenu, click on data display, then on the events option. Everything in Google Analytics is tracked as an event. Clicking on a button, downloading a PDF or watching a video are all considered events. Many of these events already exist within the default Google Analytics setup, but tracking phone calls is not one of them, so we need to add it. Click on the Create Event button, then on the next page, click on Create. You need to give your event a meaningful name so you can easily identify it in the reports later. Since we are tracking phone call clicks, Let's call this phone underscore call underscore clicks. Make sure you don't use any uppercase letters or spaces between words. Instead, use underscores. In the next field, ensure the parameter is set to event underscore name and that the operator is equals, which should be the default. In the value field, type click. Next, click on add condition. In the parameter field, type the following in all lowercase, link underscore URL. Under operator, select contains, and in the value, enter tell colon. Leave the parameter configuration ticked, then click create, and close the next window. You're all done. To verify you've said this correctly, open a new browser window in incognito mode, then log into your Google Analytics account. Open your website and purposely click on the phone number a few times. Next, go to the real-time report. Wait for a few seconds. Under the event count card, you should see the phone call click event you've created. If you see it, congratulations. You are now able to track phone calls on your website. If you can't see the phone click event, double check you've set this up properly. If everything is set up as it should, simply clear your browser cache and double check again. That should do it. Let's take this one step further to really maximize its utility. Go back to the admin section of Google Analytics. From the left-hand side menu, select Key Events. Click on the New Key Event button. In the New Event Name field, enter the exact name of the event you've just created, which in my case is phone underscore call clicks. It should be activated by default. Now head over to one of the detailed reports such as Pages and Screens. Scroll down to the main table and under the Key Events column, click the drop-down arrow. Your phone call click event should be listed there. Click on it. This will show you the number of phone calls triggered from each individual page, which is extremely useful if you want to identify pages that convert most visitors into customer leads. Slice the data further by using the comparison feature splitting mobile visitors from desktop visitors. Now you can see the number of calls triggered not only from individual pages but also based on desktop versus mobile traffic. Add a filter to the data to view results purely based on organic traffic from search engines. Scroll down to traffic source and select session default channel group. Under match type choose exactly matches and under value, select organic, then click apply. 
This report will now show how well your pages are converting into leads based on phone calls from visitors coming from organic search results, whether they were using a desktop or mobile device. You can use this data slicing methodology on all detailed reports in GA4 to gain better insights, leading to more informed marketing decisions. Pretty neat, right? Please note that it should take 24 to 48 hours before you can see conversions coming through into your report. Tracking visitor activity, especially conversions on your website, is crucial if you want to make smarter marketing decisions and focus on what really matters, especially if you're a small business. If you're ready to take it a step further and learn how to accurately track what's happening on your Google business profile, this next video is a must watch.